Hi everyone, so I'm coming to you with my August 2015 empties. Um, I'm going to be racing through this video because I've tried to upload it several times and each time it's failed and I've had to re-record it. I have a lot of empties this month so I'm just going to try to get through it as quick as I can. Obviously you can see why I'm getting rid of this lighter. It broke in half. I accidentally stepped on it. Um, I have a million more so I'm okay with that. This first candle is Melt and Lodge by Yankee Candle. I only would repurchase this if it was for my boyfriend. It was a light cologne scent. Um, the only reason that I could really stand it was because it was so light. There was some sooting on it, but other than that, I did like the candle. This next one is a Yankee Candle Melon Margarita Two Wick Large Jar Candle. I had gotten this from Marshalls. Um, I had done a review on this, but I would change my opinion since I reviewed it. I actually like it a lot more now that it's gone, and I would repurchase it if I saw it at Marshalls again. This next one is a Yankee Candle Cotton Candy Two Wick Large Jar Tumbler. I would not repurchase this because I could barely smell it, and it sooted very badly. This is the Yankee Candle Margarita Time Large Jar Candle um, in the Tuick Tumbler as well. I wouldn't repurchase this candle because it basically just solidified the fact that I don't like lime scents. If you do like lime scents, I would suggest this candle because there was a strong throw, but there was a lot of sudding with this one. My last Yankee candle is a large jar one wick black raspberry candle. Um, I would not repurchase this again because I could barely smell it. And when I did smell it, it smelled very medicinal and it, I just, I wouldn't get it again. Um, this one is a Honolulu Sun three wick candle from Bath and Body Works. I have this in like probably 10 more jars. Um, it's hoard worthy to me. It's a mix of coconut and salt air and it has a very strong throw. It did however have a little bit of sooting, but I still really enjoy it. The last candle that I have is this mango coconut cooler candle from Bath and Body Works. It's a three wick candle as well. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this just because I don't like the smell of mango. I thought more coconut would come out while I was burning it. However, that wasn't the case. Um, if you do like mango, I would suggest this candle, but I just, I wouldn't purchase it again. Um, this next thing I have is a kitchen lemon soap from Bath and Body Works. I personally am not a lemon person unless it's mixed with bakery, so I wouldn't purchase it again. Um, then I have a mix of just like little beauty products over here. This was actually for my dogs. Um, it was their toothpaste. I would repurchase this again for them. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it after this one was gone, but if I do find it, they really liked it, so I would get that again. This, however, for me, um, I would not repurchase the 3D Crest White Toothpaste. It left a funky uh, taste in my mouth. I'm more of a Colgate person. Um, I included this because I opened this up on vacation. It was brand new, and when I opened it and I went to put it in my mouth, it jabbed my gums and made me start to bleed, and it hurt for like three days. So, no, I would not purchase this Oral-B toothbrush again. Then I have a sample of Garnier Fructis. It was in the pomegranate. I just brought it on vacation with me so I didn't have to bring a huge shampoo bottle. Um, I wouldn't purchase it just because Garnier makes my hair greasy, but I did like the scent of it. This, however, is um, my holy grail of shampoo. I have a really dry scalp, so I get this generic um, tea tree oil shampoo from Sally's. Um, it's supposed to be comparable to like the Paul Mitchell um, tea tree shampoo. It takes me a while to get through this because it's like a huge bottle. I don't know if you could tell, but I swear by it. <clears throat> then I have these little tea lights that are in the scent cotton candy from Yankee Candle. I would only repurchase for the ambiance of it because I had it in my little um, Ferris wheel set up for the summer, but for scent, no. I do have a coconut cabana pocket back from Bath and Body Works. I really like this. I would repurchase it. I like anything coconut. Then I have a plug-in from Yankee Candle and the scent Christmas cookie. It was okay. I could smell it at times. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase it. It wasn't that great. This was Party Dress um, by Bath and Body Works in the Wallflower. I would not repurchase this. I hate the smell of perfume. Uh, scents and anything musky and that's exactly what this was so no I would not repurchase that 
Next, I have a watermelon lemonade scent portable for my car from Bath & Body Works. I would repurchase this. I think that it's one of the strongest scent portables that Bath & Body Works has, and I really like it. I don't really like the candle, though. I have a clean cotton Yankee Candle um, little car air freshener. It smelled good for like the first week. I would say the same thing about this one. This was the like car jar in the Coconut Bay scent. It smells good when you first open it, but it goes away very quickly. Um, this one, however, I would not repurchase. This was for the um, Coconut Stripes Girl Scout cookie one. I could not smell this in my car at all, so I would not get that again. This last thing, I know it's like torn in half, is this Yankee Candle Turquoise Sky car jar. This was very soapy smelling, but I really liked it. It just surprised me when I opened it. So that's all of my um, August empties for 2015. Thank you guys so much for watching.